So good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Georgi Zakarias. Uh, I'm a manager with Accenture Song in uh, UAE, and the case study I'm about to present today is our journey with Etisalat in the UAE, which is the largest telecom in the region, specifically for their B2B marketing. So it was an advanced marketing and analytics services that is multi-year, and uh, how the the type of work that we've done with them and the results that we have to achieve. So if you go to the next slide, please. So to give some context, uh, uh, the UAE has the digital transformation is one of the key pillars of UAE's Vision 2030, and along with it, driving the country's SMBs uh, is is core to that mission. And uh, Etisalat, being the largest telco in the region with telecom and digital solutions, it uh, comes upon them to drive this transformation. And uh, if you could hit next. So we as Accenture Song uh, with Etisalat help them in driving this vision by bringing our expertise in marketing technologies and advanced analytics services uh, in order to enable and help our clients through three sort of main goals. If you could hit next. Yeah, so one of them being customer engagement. So understanding, having a 360 degree view of our customer base, uh, our SMB base, what is, their, uh, what is their intense, what is their behavior currently, uh, creating an omni-channel marketing uh, framework for them in order to reach them at the right time with the right offer uh, to try and build that relationship, if you could hit next. So navigating through the pandemic, so especially for SMBs in the UAE, it has been a very tricky time. There have been a lot of changes, changes across industry verticals, which are not necessarily uniform. So infusing advanced machine learning and test and learn marketing strategies to understand what the needs of certain SMBs are versus those of others. And if you could hit the next slide, please. Through this, with real-time marketing journeys and customer journeys, embracing innovation in our journey, uh, in our in our program throughout. Next slide, please. Yeah, next slide. Yeah. So to start with, we built a holistic 360-degree view of our SMB base. So slices of data across firmographics, their party holding portfolio, their usages, revenue trends, uh, their engagement with digital channels, online and offline lead generation process how they interact with Etisalat and their relationship with the company as a whole. So this is a 1500 plus KPI strong database, which is ever evolving. And we are adding as many KPIs as we can to have this continuous holistic view of a customer base. So on top of this, we have, we have infused advanced machine learning algorithms to better segment and understand the base, create personas of them and to treat them as per their personas. So for the, for the sake of this presentation, I'll be walking you through three of such personas that we have developed. One of them being Sara, who's a fintech startup founder, who's recently set up her company in the DIFC area. This we know through her trade license KPI, through her industry vertical, through her product holding and so on. The other being Amina, who's a restaurant owner, a little more established in the UAE, uh, who's been with Etisalat uh, as a customer for over five years. And lastly, Ahmed, who's an employee of a UAE-based manufacturing firm and who frequently travels on business across the GCC. If you could hit the next slide, please. So now how do we bring actionable intelligence to this? So with these three personas, if you could hit next, please. Yeah, so for the case of Sara, now Sara being a new customer, we have very limited information about her just yet. We know this is her industry vertical. We know what products she initially purchased at Etisalat. So we created a new party micro segmentation model to try and classify new customers and to see where, where they sit in our entire persona. So for the case of Sara, she fit into a digitally savvy startup cluster. On top of this, on the cluster, we did something called a segment growth analysis to see what does the segment uh, purchase in their first three or six months of their journey with the telecom. And we found that for the case of Sara, the best proposition would be a bundled offering of a website creation tool and an e-tax filing solution offered by Etisalat. And these, this bundled proposition was sent out through our marketing channel, uh, through an email marketing channel with the CTA uh, for calling back the agent in order to better understand these products. If you could hit next. Now for the case of Amina, who's a more established restaurant owner, we saw that with her website browsing behavior on Etisalat, uh, she was uh, browsing around uh, the online presence management products, but wasn't closing anything or making any, uh, any actionable, uh, wasn't performing any action, which led to creating a lead, which then feeds back to our call center agents, backed by an next best action advisor to try and pitch her the online presence management tool of her choice based on her historical behavior and her, uh, her requirements. And then the next, please. 
And for Ahmed, who's a traveler, uh, him landing into Riyadh airport, let's say on a business trip, generates a trigger from our complex event processing system, which is then treated with a uh, adaptive machine learning model, which on the go in real time figures out uh, what his intent is, what is his historical usage behavior, what is his uh, spend appetite, and accordingly pitches a, a roaming offer for him. And not just that, once the roaming offer is selected by the model, we have another model called a channel optimization model, which is choosing the best channel to send this offer to Ahmed so that we are based on his historical behavior with campaigns in the past. So next slide, please. Yeah, next slide. So uh, across this journey, we helped address certain core challenges of a client, if you could hit next. So number one being the classic case of having multiple legacy data sources, which are siloed, not talking to each other. So unifying these uh, has really brought in and brought that 360 degree view of a customer. So for example, for the case of Sara, we understood that she is a new SMB customer. She belongs to the FinTech space and she's established in DIFC, which is the financial center in Dubai. So that unified customer view helped us understand and create this sort of a vision of a customer. Uh, the next slide, please. Yeah. And then mass targeting to uh, hyper-personalization. So especially for SMBs, the strategy previously was to uh, send out blanket offerings across the board and then see what, what works, what doesn't work. So now with, uh, with our personalization, with our campaign feedback behavior and so on, we can tailor make uh, propositions for each customer based on their persona and their intent. Next block, please. Uh, manual campaigns to real-time customer journeys. So initially we would lose, a, uh, have a, lot, a big opportunity loss uh, by targeting customers manually based on business intuition. But moving away to real-time customer journeys, we can start with customer's intent as being the trigger to drive marketing and see how that works. And then lastly, if you could press next. Uh, and the, 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 the broader uh, issue of having limited channels to having a more omni-channel uh, framework in order to better reach out to customers. And then next slide. Next slide, please. Yeah. So all of this wraps up, and we've had a six-year journey with Etisalat, uh, developing various uh, tangible revenue metrics and improving customer engagement with some of the key metrics here, like 4x growth in incremental revenue and smart engagement with a 40 to 50 percent increase in campaign conversion, among many other KPIs. So I think my time is up, and. I'm